it is actually 10 past 12 <laughs> in the afternoon just finished nights um so i'd get up and bring you guys along my day so yeah it's been a little while i've actually missed vlogging you know obviously you're doing it every day in january i kind of just kind of got used to it so yeah i've actually kind of missed it so welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name's lucy if you are regular welcome back it's nice to have you it's nice to still have the support from everybody um yeah and i've actually lost one of our cats so when i came in this morning i didn't see the cat run out and then when i went up to bed i couldn't find gary i don't know if he's out i literally searched the whole house can't see him so i'm assuming he's out but he's also not been home yet and like I said, I genuinely don't remember him running out. Like normally I notice the cats running out when I have them. So I genuinely don't know where he is. A little concerned. We'll give it till this afternoon once I come back. And if he's still not around, then I might start to get a bit worried. I'm also, because I don't know where he is. I actually haven't got a clue. Is he in or is he out? I just don't know, do we, Kendall? No. You've not seen them in a little while. Do you want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> so yes, my plan for today, I need to go to Pets at Home to get Kendall her special food. I also would like, we need to get some shopping bits basically. And I'd like to go to M&S and try and seek out the a vegan option of the Valentine's meal deal. Obviously, no one's going out to eat this year for Valentine's Day. We don't, we're not doing presents or anything like that, literally just cards. So I thought I'd nip to M&S and see if they have it. Because I feel like everyone's going to be buying them this year. So are they even going to be in stock? I don't know. So yeah, and then I was thinking about making brownies. Not baked in it ages so i thought i might make some brownies so yeah i thought i'd bring you along show you all my day all my exciting day um jay will be home at about four so you'll see her in a bit so yeah just gonna make the last bit of my list honestly i cannot and i stress this enough cannot go shopping without a list i may as well just not bother if i don't have a list i just feel so unorganized so yeah, just going to finish off my list and then we'll head out. See you on the other side. Right, just arrived at literally probably one of my favourite retail parks. Sainsbury's, love Sainsbury's, Costa, Greg's, Subway, TK Maxx, Home Sense, Hobbycraft, Boots, Poundland, M&S Food, Next. I mean, obviously when they're all open, it's a great place to be, you know. However, they're not. So yeah, I'm just going to pop into M&S see what they've got and I'm gonna head into Sainsbury's so I'll see you in a bit so I've just come out of Marks and Spencer's just got served by the loveliest woman she's literally so helpful she's obviously noticed like half my shopping she's like are you vegetarian I was like oh vegan she's like all oh, right and then proceeded to tell me like all of the other things that they've got vegan in the shop so cute I was literally like oh you are so kind but then at the end she was like oh circled the receipt like oh if you want to give me some feedback i was like oh here we go but yeah i probably will give her some feedback to be fair i don't normally but she was really really nice really really helpful so yeah i actually got some quite good stuff i really wanted the cookies they didn't have the cookies they didn't even have like a spot that where they would have been so i think i've said before that m&s is a really really small m&s however i did get this New York style no salt beef. Oh, pretzel roll. Oh my god, I'm in love with a pretzel. And the woman was scanning it through, and she, even she was like, Have you had this before? I was like, No, first time trying it. She's like, It is amazing. I was like, Nice. Oh, and it actually goes out of date today. No, it's not. What's the date today? 
yeah it goes out of date today so it felt like that should have been reduced but maybe they just know that people are going to buy them so yeah can't wait to try that i'm actually probably going to try that now because i'm not actually eating yet today and then i also brought the hoisin what is it hoisin no duck wrap that looks amazing like incredible i love anything hoisin -y. we're having pad thai tonight um so i thought i'd pick up these no chicken gyozas gyozas i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong i haven't got a clue do correct me if you know the correct way of pronouncing that because i don't um i also picked up because it was reduced i thought i'd give this a try the plank kitchen version of bacon um i also picked up some plank kitchen hot cross buns and then i did actually get the like a meal deal thing now i don't think it's the actual valentine's one i was really confused by it um I don't know what I've, what I've brought, what I've paid for, to be honest. But either way, I was really happy with it. But uh, before I show you that, I also picked up these two chocolate pots. They look really good. You know me, if it says vegan, I'll buy it. So yeah, the meal was some spring greens, which I won't show you them, because you mean we wonder what spring greens look like. Um, it then consisted of, I'll show you the pudding, because that's the closest, these chocolate torts. Now, how insane do they look? Dark chocolate ganache on a crunchy biscuit base. Can't wait to try that. And then they're right at the bottom of the bag, so I'll just tell you what they were. I got two butternut and red onion on croutes. And they look and sound amazing. I love butternut squash. But yeah, that's what I got. I mean, I went a bit all out, to be fair. Spent like 30 odd pound in there. But hey ho. I mean, the meal deal itself was 10 pound. So, yeah, that's like the exciting little bits that I wanted to come out and get. And then I'm going to pop to Sainsbury's now and get the boring bits. But obviously any exciting vegan stuff I will show you. Um, do I get a Costa? I know Jada would be really disappointed if I don't get a Costa. Watch this space, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Taste test. Smells nice. Yep. I kept you in suspense there. But yeah, that's really good. The sauce, what's the sauce? Oh, sauerkraut, carrot, spring onion, dill cucumber, mustard dressing and coconut based cheese that dressing is really good that makes it mm. yeah that is really really nice i can definitely recommend that and then the pretzel bun just gets 10 out of 10 from me because i love pretzels so much so good so yeah if you haven't already i know most people that are vegan probably have already tried this but if you haven't get on it actually you don't even have to be vegan get on it really really nice really really good just gonna finish off, finish it off you definitely don't want to watch me eat this because it won't be pretty so i've just got home i was gonna film me leaving sainsbury's and all that jazz but in an hour an hour i was in sainsbury's wandering up and down the aisles with my massive list trying to find everything honestly if you know me i love a good supermarket trip i'd rather one where i'm wandering around i don't necessarily need anything but honestly i don't know if it was a mixture of being tired from being on nights to having this massive list and not being able to find anything but honestly i am done i was literally losing the will to live my legs were hurting i was literally wandering around like Yeah, an hour, an hour, and guess how much? That shop just cost me two bags for life worth of food. 93 pounds, like what? She said the amount, I nearly bloody fell over. I was literally like, 
What? What have I brought? What have I brought? I literally, I don't even know. <sighs> can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I don't even think there's anything that exciting to even show you guys, to be fair. So, yeah. Kendall. Gonna cheer myself up. Gonna make myself a cup of tea. Not had one yet. Didn't go to Costa because I was just literally like, you know what? Get me home. I need to go home. <laughs> I was done at that point. I was like, I'm not even a Costa is gonna fix this. I need to get home. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna make myself some brownies. <sighs> so nice to be home. The wind is so bad. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing weather like this, but it ain't pretty. One minute it's snowing, next minute it's sunny, next minute it's windy. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it's doing. But then again, neither do I. So you know what? I'm pretty reflective of this weather, really. Yeah, I'm just going to unpack my unpack my ninety-four pounds worth of shopping, and then I'm going to make start the brownies. Woo! See you in a bit. So when we weren't vegan, we obviously kept like a four pint of milk in the fridge. And we just kind of buy it like, as and when we needed it. For some reason, now Jade's drinking the soy milk. Honestly, she thinks that. I feel like she needs to think she's spoon. Honestly, I can't even get my words out. <sighs> Basically, I wrote a little list when I got in, and then I wrote on the list for when Jade got up to add anything that she needed. Honestly, woke up to this massive list that she's left me. One of the items was more soya milk, right? So we have one here in the fridge, right? Two there, and then we had one there. I've just put that one in the fridge. She's literally asked me to get some milk when we've literally got tons of it. Literally all she uses it for is tea, nothing else. She doesn't have cereal, nothing. Literally, there's me with just my two Oatleys. And then I brought some reduced ones because they were reduced. I brought them in and she's literally like, honestly. Jade, when you watch this, you're a hoarder of milk. I never thought I'd see the day that Jade hoards something. But she's chosen milk, you know? Each their own, but hey-ho. Remind me next time that she adds it to the list that we don't actually need it. These are what I'm going to attempt to make today. How good do they look? Oh my goodness. So this is a recipe from Jane's Patisserie. I'll link it in the box, in the description box below if they turn out well. And I think that you guys might want to make them because I don't like to uh, jinx these things. So, I mean, I've got 4.84 stars from 12 people. So, this is the recipe. Pretty simple actually for a vegan uh, recipe. Normally vegan recipes they have all sorts of weird and wonderful obscure things that you literally can't get hold of. So it's actually quite a nice recipe really. So let's see how we get on shall we? Got my stuff out ready, I'll just grab the rest of the bits and then I'll show you it all together. So here are all my ingredients. I have got soya, it says on the bottom on her notes that you can use any dairy-free milk apart from coconut milk. So we had soya left, so. Whoa, what's, what's wrong? I'm trying to bake some brownies. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, so anyway, you can use any dairy milk, dairy-free milk apart from coconut. Sulfur and flour, light brown sugar. What's that called? Vanilla extract. Cocoa powder, vegetable oil, and dark chocolate. And my tray. Let's do this. So I've just got my chocolate melting and it is literally the thickest chocolate I think I've ever seen. I, it is literally gonna take forever to melt. I can't believe it. So, um, yeah. Oh, if anyone interested, Gary's just come home. 
we don't actually know when he went out. So, um, but yeah, at least he's come home. We're both getting slightly concerned, so he saved us a long walk around the area to go find him. So thanks for coming back, Gary, appreciate that. Yep, yeah, cheers. He literally has no idea that we were so worried. He doesn't care. He's now just going to go off and sleep. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. See ya. Chocolate is melted. There's honestly nothing better than melted chocolate. Mmm. Also, watching the one YouTube channel that I'm literally obsessed with at the minute. It is Cara and Nate. And if you haven't watched these, then get on it they're basically a couple that have been traveling the world for the last four years they basically visit uh, visited a hundred countries and they just produce like really short little uh, like clips of like everywhere they've been and that how they get there whether it's plane train bus etc so interesting i'm literally obsessed any minute and every day that i've got spare i'm watching these guys at the minute so yeah definitely recommend them next up gotta add all the liquid, so I've got to add the oil and the vanilla extract and the milk. And I'm whisking it all together. Looks questionable, but we'll keep going with it. It says whisk till smooth, but I mean, all these liquids are kind of smooth already, so I'll just whisk till combined and then. Um, on to the next step. So I've just sieved together the flour, sugar, cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt. Just gonna add this to this. And then now I'm gonna attempt to chop up this ridiculously thick chocolate. <sighs> Do wish me luck. And I totally wanted these brownies to be ready for when Jade came home. But due to that, what felt like a 50 hour length uh, shopping trip it's not going to happen because it's nearly four o'clock she finishes at four we literally live 10 15 minutes away from work so it's not going to happen but at least i'll be in the oven for when she comes home so that's all right i guess honestly i can't wait to put my pajamas on sit down with a cup of tea and mongol evening So yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> so I've just mixed the dry with the wet and then added some chopped chocolate. And I mean, I've never seen a brownie mix so thick. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's wrong, but I mean, yeah, never seen one this thick before, but hey ho. Put it in the oven. Honestly, my, my filming skills one handed when I'm trying to do this. I'm literally like, whoa, trying to show you the brownies. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I've done it wrong just yet. We'll wait till they come out of the oven, shall we? Honestly, what are these camera skills? Right, let's do this. See you in 25 minutes. Possibly the worst part about baking is the washing up. See, I try and do these nice surprise things for Jade, but actually, if she was here, if she was here, she'd do the washing up for me because she loves it. But no, I've got to do it myself. <sighs> Ah, it was actually loads as well because I used a plate and a mug when I got in this morning from work. Still on the side and then, I mean, are you even human if you don't use every single kitchen utensil when you bake? Or is that just me? Because I literally use everything. Don't use the same spoon twice, you know, just get another one out, oh, just get another one out. Honestly, I'm, I'm a nightmare, so yeah, best get this done before Jake home because she probably will have a bit of it. She'll buzz off it, but she'll be like, oh, great, yeah, thanks. So, best crack on with this. It's nearly 10 past four. She's literally going to be home any minute, and I would love to get a cup of tea ready for when she comes home. 
for her and for me because I need that in my life to be honest. So yeah, I'll show you when they come out. Super excited. Nervous, but excited. Watch this space. Just gotta dry my hands now to um, actually uh, stop recording. <laughs> he's literally just come in and he already wants to go out. Honestly, he's grown up, people. He just wants to fly the nest now. And I'm not ready to say goodbye. Kendall's like, yeah, I'm not ready, guys. Don't worry. Oh, Jade's home. Whoa. You got what? I was just coming to help you. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, I just want to you. Oh god, I've not got another surprise, have we? No, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I did think actually, I thought she's gonna think there's like another igloo in the back garden, but you no. You're making a cake though. Yeah, I'm making brownies. Oh, devil. Yeah. She doesn't make vegan ones anyway, so. Oh, that's true. So we're not putting her out of business. Very true. Don't worry, Ash. We still love you. <laughs> She did say she was going to start looking into vegan brands and stuff though, so... Oh, well, nice putting me out of a business then. <laughs> Literally the only time you see Jade ever run and getting excited in our house is when there's potential for cows in the back field. <laughs> <sighs> she, um, um, she. We had cows the first year we lived here in the back of this field. And then all last year we didn't get them. We can only assume they mixed the fields around. Yes. Yeah, and it was really, really wet last year. We had a really dry summer, didn't we? And then a really wet winter. So, we're praying. I mean, Jade's even more praying. Like, she's literally run upstairs to come and look, <laughs> see what the guy's doing, because we just saw a tractor go past. I think he's just spreading. But yeah, we just get so excited. Like, I'm even out of breath. <laughs> Jade, Jade just made me come and run up the... Uh, Stairs, look yes, at the cows. It's full of manure. It's even Kendall's like, oh my god, I'm gonna come too. The cows are back. Cows! <laughs> but yeah, they're really cute cows as well, aren't they? Oh, you remember all the calves we had? Oh. Yeah, we had little calves. Honestly, highlight of our year. We had one bull and it was massive, wasn't it? it was yeah, it was right. Big boy. Huge. So yeah. Just uh, casually running. Up the stairs, Ooh, see what's happening. Yeah, that could be an electric hill. Hump. Alright. How's work? Yeah, it's okay. Just okay. Hey. Work. Mm hmm. Worky. Worky. That's a word. It's not a word. That's what I did a lot on the blade. Jade pretended she heard a no noise upstairs in the loft so <laughs> she can just come upstairs and have a look inside the loft again because she's obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> she's pretending that because of the wind, you know, she's just checking that everything's all right still. But I have left the shower running. Uh, she's actually just finding any excuse to go up in the loft because she's so buzzing about it. Oh my god! Quick run down the stairs. <laughs> quick run! I got too, I got too distracted by cows, uh, my pajamas, Jade in the loft. That my alarm's going off. My brownies. Brownies, it's all on, come in. Alexa, stop. Ooh, what do we reckon? Are they ready? Hmm, I'm not sure. The one thing I hate about brownies is it's so difficult to know when they're cooked. I literally just don't have a clue. I've just took them out because I read that they still cook while they're cooling. So I thought, I mean, it's literally just for me and Jade, so if they don't work, they don't work, but I thought I'd chance it. There's nothing worse than an overcooked brownie. So I'll keep you updated on them. It smells amazing, though. So we'll see. So I was having one of them days, obviously, where I've been a bit tired, so I've just been a bit... So in Sainsbury's, obviously, in Marks and Spencer's, I had that really lovely lady really really kind friendly and she obviously wanted me to give her some feedback and i was like oh okay and then i went to sainsbury's and the woman at the till there didn't even say hi to me she just started scanning my shopping and kind of didn't say anything so it's kind of emphasized and made me want to give the feedback to the woman in master spencer's more so i feel like it's one of them that i feel like if you don't do it now you're never going to do it so 
I've come on the website, got my receipt, and we're going to leave, what's her name? I'm going to leave Denise some nice feedback, because she deserves it. Jade's just brought me in a um, mini Sainsbury's vegan sausage roll. Really nice. The pastry is really nice and like chewy. And it literally tastes like a sausage roll. Like I'm actually a little bit nervous that this is a real sausage roll. I mean like, it isn't because I brought them but really really nice. Oh, get off the dressing gown! Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's happening? Kendall was hanging on the dressing gown. Totally shouldn't have sat down. <laughs> Got all comfy in my PJs and my Udi. Just thought I'd let you know. Jade ordered herself an Udi, didn't ya? Oh, no. Um, yeah. Sorry, I can't concentrate. <laughs> She uh, can't talk to you guys right now. She's too busy on the PlayStation. It's more important. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so I ordered myself new dates. What's it got? Ping band? Oh, no. Yeah, so I was gonna order Jade one, but there's the one she wanted, there's always a wait time on them because they must be really popular. So I've been waiting for them to actually come back in stock. And then she tells me the day that she's ordered herself one, I was like, how? And then um She's actually changed her mind on which one she wants and she's gone for one that is in stock. So that's it, it. <laughs> What's wrong? What's up? What's up? Oh. You died? Yeah. Well, you got to start all over again? Nope, that's just that part of the story finished. That's okay. It's not. It is. It's not. It's alright. She killed the big rush. I was crying. It's gonna be all right. But yeah, anyway, Jade's Udi should be coming soon, so um, watch this space for uh, garlic bread and penguins. Yes, it's gonna be good. Yeah. It is 20 past six, just sat here watching my YouTube videos. Um, I met the ones, people I mentioned earlier. Thinking about making dinner. Can't be bothered. I'll make it in a minute. I am no, I'm gonna get up and do it. Um we've got a gusto tonight. It is pad thai, isn't it? Yes. Looking forward to it actually, it looks really good. Yeah, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna um gonna I'm gonna get off and cam. <laughs> I'm going to I don't know if I showed you guys them earlier. Yeah, I did. The uh, no chicken goes is gonna have that with tonight's dinner. Yes, and some giraffe bread. Yeah. And some oh. crusty bread because Crusty bread is life. It is in this house. It is at the minute. Oh, I just love it. Jade was like going to the shop the other day. I was like, oh, can you get some crusty bread? So she came in with this massive loaf. And then I thought, we enjoyed it that much. Let's get another one. Why not? I've got nothing else to do or look forward to in lockdown. You know what? If crusty bread makes you happy, then well, you buy crusty bread. Yeah? If I want to eat the whole loaf, which we pretty much did the other day, then we will. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. So yeah, I'm actually going to get up in a minute and make that. What do you prefer um, though? Tiger bread or giraffe bread? Like, what, what do you think? They're both the same. I don't think they are. It's just a different pattern on top. <laughs> just bigger. Comment below. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Giraffe bread or tiger bread? Giraffe, giraffe bread, I think, is literally just Sainsbury's. Yes, I think you might be right because I've never seen it anywhere else. It's basically Sainsbury's version of tiger bread. Did not do tiger bread then? I think it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but you can only buy because I think other shops do like hedgehog bread and what? things like that. They're all different. What do you mean hedgehog bread? I don't mean no hedgehogs or giraffes were harmed in the making of this bread. It's just the look. Is hedgehog bread? I need a picture. Is all right, I show you hedgehog bread. Yeah. One sec. Bear with. I'll see you in the kitchen. Ladybird bread. And here we have tonight's gusto. <laughs> She's in one of their moods. She's, she just out to get me. Are you alright? You done or? Yeah, I'm done. You sure? Yeah, I've got the 
Oh, <laughs> oh my god, are you all right? I think you need to go sit down. <laughs> so, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, it's not just any old pad thai, guys. It's a tangy vegetable pad thai. Look at that. And here are all our ingredients. Spinach, extra spinach here. Yeah, with some spinach because we had it left over. And there's the giraffe goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Um, huge. Love it. Dinner is served. Look at that. We've got our uh, little gyozas in the corner there. If you didn't see them earlier, it's these no chicken gyozas. And you know, Gusto, it was one of them, it got to me a bit. Sometimes you just get so in over your head. So I had my peppers on the go, I had my noodles on the go. I had my bottle of squash in the oven, I had timers going off, I had things needed to be chopped. I was like, Jade, can you come and help me? I'm so in over my head. Sometimes it does that to you. You're literally like, oh my God, I can't go. <laughs> Otherwise, I literally just have a meltdown, so thanks Jade for helping me. <laughs> Looks good though. It does. You know, I thought to myself, I've got quite a lot of like filling going on here. Like, I've got this bottle of squash, right? <laughs> no, I've got noodles and chilli. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you some of my bottle of Please squash, don't. you know. I'm fine. Honestly, I didn't do that on purpose. It's fine. <laughs> oh, these gyozas, amazing, aren't mm -hmm. they? They're incredible. I don't even know where they are. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, here's my one, one bit of bottle of squash, look. Yes. Yeah, these gyozas are incredible. Really, really good. I'd recommend them mm -hmm. for sure. And we have just sat down after dinner. Here I come. Again. Jade, honestly, right, it wasn't just any old normal dinner. <laughs> so Jade has realised a hidden talent. <laughs> Whilst we're eating dinner, who knew? So uh, she doesn't want me to point the camera no, on her. I'm not gonna do it. You have to do it when at least it, they expect what you least expect. What? It. You're not gonna tell them? No. I mean, you can tell them, but I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna do the noise when you least expect it. What? All right. So you know, like the typical cowboy noise that you have in like films. Want me to find it? No, because I might get copyrighted. Oh yeah, that's true. Um. She can basically, she <laughs> realise that she can do that sound and it is pretty impressive, with to, be, the, to be fair. With the eagle in the background as well. Yeah, she even got an eagle noise to go in the background <laughs> and it is pretty epic, I will say. So yeah, anyway, she's not going to do it. She may do it when we least expect it. It could be now, it could be later, it could be next week, it could be a month's time, we don't know. You just don't, you've got to be unaware with it. But yes, dinner was alright, wasn't it Jade? Yes. I actually didn't eat all mine because... My tummy started to feel a bit funny during it. I don't think it was anything to do with the dinner. I just feel a bit off it. So. Okay, and I'm just a fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't eat it all, but we had a little clear up. Jade made a lunch for tomorrow for work. And we had a bit of um, ABBA on. Yep. We're in a bit of an ABBA phase <laughs> at the minute. What a little bit. And um, I'm absolutely going to show you the Snapchats that I received <laughs> from Jade. Oh, did you have fun? Did you film me? I screen recorded Jade's Snapchats to me while I was on nights the other night. <laughs> and you are not ready for this. So, um, bear with. Are you ready <laughs> for no, this? Ready. I, honestly, you're not ready, right? I mean, I'm probably going to get copyright because, you know, she sounds just so much like <laughs> ABBA. They'll think that I've just played an ABBA song on this video, to be fair. So, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, Jay's got headphones in, so it's only when she starts singing that you can actually, um, you actually know what she's actually listening to. <laughs> A bit shellfish, really, that she's not. I don't 
think you need it though. Do you know the words there? Not that bit, no. <laughs> Honestly. People <laughs> Didn't know the words there. It's a bit quiet. Yeah, she needs to brush up on her lyrics, to be fair. <laughs> and here we go again. <laughs> oh, pause. <laughs> Jade was having a little old uh, sing song to herself to a bit of a ABBA medley while she was cleaning mm. and yeah that was the uh, result needless to say <laughs> absolutely cheered me up on a night shift <laughs> and I hope it cheered you guys up because <laughs> honestly I'm so glad I screen recorded them it's literally going to keep me entertained for a very very long time even Jade's laughing at herself <laughs> <laughs> So after um, <laughs> she did it. How good was that? Honestly, hidden talent. <laughs> Not only is she basically a one-man ABBA tribute. Oh, so I was doing both parts. She is like a cowboy movie now. So anyway, as I was saying, we just decided to put this on after much scrolling through Sky, <laughs> Netflix, and everything. Yeah. We thought we'd give the Ripper a go. I think one of you guys actually recommended this as well. So, here we are. Giving it a try. Don't mind Jay just in the curtains. Um, annoying the cat. Yes, that is her crawling behind the curtain. Oh my god, you're actually terrorising the Poor soul. Oh, okay. Was that the aim of it? Was it? <laughs> it's the aim chasing of the her game. to give, a, chasing her to give her cuddles. Look at the curtains. Oh, that's the curtains. <laughs> Just like she messes up the bed, right? I've told her. Mhm. Mm Just about to chop up the old brownie. Jade just tried poking it. <laughs> Can you not? Look at them. Oh my. Absolutely, if you heard Jade, oh my goodness. <laughs> Honestly, they're incredible. I also had like a bit of like the crumb. Insane. Some bits are more fuddy than others. I think the middle's potentially like borderline uncooked slash fudgy. The outsides are just a little bit more firmer, so it depends what kind of brownie you like as to whether you'd add the outside or the middle. But yeah. Mmm. So I decided to make my brownies extra healthy <laughs> and add some ice cream because why the heck not. Just finished our brownies. Definitely going to link that in the description box below for you guys. That was so nice, wasn't it Jade? Yeah, I loved it. I literally just added dark chocolate to mine because I didn't want to go too over the top just in case they didn't work or I didn't like them but if I was to make them again I'd maybe add maybe like some raspberries Ooh. I feel like raspberries would be good wouldn't it Ooh, then. you can't beat dark chocolate and raspberry or something just to make them a bit more exciting but the general like recipe insane really really good weren't they Jade yes I really liked them yeah very very good and lovely with a bit of ice cream too or just find themselves with a cup of Yorkshire gold you know well, 
you know, whatever floats your boat. Absolutely. So yeah, like Jade just said. All washed down with a good cup of tea. Should do you, do your dad. So yeah, just gonna uh, chillax now, watching The Ripper. Jade thought this was about Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Um, and I told her that Jack the Ripper was somebody in London back in like the Victorian times. This is set, was it the 80s? Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do it in Yorkshire. It. So it's definitely not Jack the Ripper. I think it is. It's not Jack, <laughs> Jack the Ripper re reincarnated. I, I, I just I didn't know there was more than one. Peter Sutcliffe documentary. Uh, have you not heard of him? Probably, I think I have. Uneducated. No, I'm not. I just get them confused. I'm kidding. So yeah, anyway, just gonna relax now for the evening. I say the evening. Oh, it's nine o'clock. I'm going to bed in a minute. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to sort of. Jay's just trying to um, get our sky bill down because it's ridiculous. You don't want to know how much our sky bill is. And we've already negotiated once. Yeah. She rang to get the price down. And it said same. He said, like, oh, we've got rid of this, got rid of this, got rid of this. And I'm like, okay, so how much is it? The same price. Still the same price, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. Jade's just um, trying to sort that out. Fun times. Just finished the first episode of The Ripper. It's quite good, actually, isn't it? Yes. So obviously, it's, it's not good. It's but... horrendous. <laughs> But the actual program's really good. Um, it just kind of proves what the mindset was back then, though. Like, they instantly thought he was uh, like a prostitute hating man and then went and killed a 16 year old girl. It's a bit like, mm, it's not nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, attitudes back then were just yeah. like compared to now, they're horrendous anyway, just against women in general. If you're not a fan of programs like that, then I wouldn't recommend watching it. Definitely not. Yeah, if you love a good true crime, then it's your, it's your, it's your bag. Yes. So it is actually now. What is that? Ten to ten. Ten to ten. And it's bedtime. I'm really tired. Jade's literally just yawned. And I'm knackered. <laughs> so that is going to conclude. We're both as well, aren't we? Yes. So that is going to conclude my little uh, daily vlog. Not daily, as in like every day, but. Just thought I'd bring you along, spend the day with me. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's good to be back vlogging, actually. I've really enjoyed it. I've missed it. And it's been good to be back, hasn't it? Mm. Apart from when I walked in this, morning, this afternoon. This yeah, and you were like, what? I was like, what is going on? I felt like it was the igloo all over again. I Have thought, I got another igloo in the garden? I thought, well, I can smell a cake, so we're obviously celebrating something. And I was like, <laughs> looking around, I'm like, oh, God. You know what? I always have to be an occasion to get the camera and make you a cake. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah hope you've enjoyed um like i say i've really enjoyed filming today um yeah i'm probably gonna make it like a weekly maybe twice weekly depending on like what's going on obviously i'm not gonna film if i'm literally just sat on the sofa <laughs> I'm monging watching new girl or something but um yeah i'll try and do my best obviously with lockdown and everything so yeah i hope you've enjoyed if you have please subscribe to my channel i'd super appreciate it Drop me a comment. I love chatting in the comments with you guys. And um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Hope you're all doing okay with this lockdown. It's literally just doesn't seem to be ending, does it? Apparently, it might get extended as well. There's just no end in sight. And I genuinely hope that everybody out there is feeling okay and is coping because. It it's is, tough. It is really tough. Third one in now. We're nearly a year. We are a year in. No, it's in like no, we March. We're a year in. We're nearly a year into this nightmare, and it just doesn't seem to get any better, does it? We're all waiting for that moment that we can book that holiday abroad. Yeah. Or, or just... even in the UK, you know what? I'd kill for a bit of a holiday in Cornwall right now. Just in Germany. <laughs> so yeah. I hope everyone's doing okay anyway um and i'd like to think that we can bring you that little bit of um an escape during mm. these times so yeah look after yourselves and we'll see you soon see ya <laughs>
Tschüssi.